Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 028 underscore DIAB underscore N. You can also download this file from the website. Click the file tab, hover the mouse cursor to save as and click project. We name this file to 00 underscore 029 underscore DIAB underscore M and click the save button. Go to the project browser, right click the top of slab and select rename. Rename this level to foundation. Click OK. Select yes. Now double click foundation to open this view, click the scroll bar and click the view range. Make sure that the top associated foundation offset is 300 mm, the cut plan is 150 mm and the bottom associated foundation is 0 and the view depth is 0. Click OK. Zoom in into this area, click the modify tab, select the trim extend single element, select the edge of this wall and click this edge to extend this wall. Click the modify button. Now as you can see, I need to align this wall with this wall in the ground floor plan to match with this wall. So let's go and correct that problem immediately. Double click the ground floor view, go to the modify panel and select the align command. Click the edge of this wall and the edge of this wall. Go to the first floor plan, select the align command. Click the edge of this wall and the edge of this wall. Click the modify button. Click the X button to close the first floor view. Click the X button to close the ground floor view. Now back to the foundation view. Select this wall and hit delete on your cable. Select this wall and make sure that this arrow at the bottom. The location line is coffee's exterior. Now go to the quick access toolbar and select the match property. Select this wall and click on this wall to change its property. Click the modify button. Select this wall, hit delete on your keyboard. Use a window to select this wall, hit delete. Go to the modify panel and select the trim extend to corner. Select this wall and this wall. Select the trim extend single element. Select the edge of this wall and this wall. Click the modify button. Roll the mouse wheel backward to zoom out. Select this wall. Delete this wall. Select this wall and hit delete. Select the trim extend to corner. Select this wall and this wall. Click the modify button. Select this wall and make sure that the flip arrow is outside. Select this, this wall, this wall, this wall. Flip this arrow outside. Select this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall. Flip this arrow outside. Now, hover the mouse cursor into this wall and press the tab key once. Click to select all of this wall. If the tab key doesn't give you the option to select all of this chain, click them one by one. Hold down the control key after clicking the first one, then click the orders to deselect, to select them. In the location line, click this down arrow and change the location line to core face exterior and click the down arrow, select my generic 200 millimeter to change the thickness of this wall. You see when you change the update is go inside because we have changed the location line to core face exterior. Now if you want you can change this line back to core center line. Move away from the project. Select this wall and make sure that this arrow point point upwards. The flip arrow point upwards. Select this wall. Make sure that the flip arrow points to the right. Always the flip arrow must be points at the external part of the wall. Click this to flip it outside. Now select this wall and hit delete on your keyboard. Select the trim extend to corner. Select this wall and select this wall. Press the modify button. Select this wall and hit delete on your keyboard. Hover the mouse cursor and press the tab key. Click to select. Change the location line to core face exterior and change the wall to my generic 200 millimeter. Now change the location line back to core center line. Click this wall and make sure that the flip arrow points up. Click and click this wall. Now use a window selection to select this wall. Change the location line to core face exterior and change the wall to my generic 200 millimeter. Now move away from the property palette. 
with the word still selected click the down arrow and change its location line to call center line click into the empty area in the drawing to see the results select this wall and make sure that the flip arrow is an external of the wall flip this wall click flip this wall flip this wall now hover the mouse cursor to this wall and press the tab key click to select this walls change the location line to call face exterior change the wall to my generic 200 millimeter move the mouse cursor away from the property palette and change the location line back to call center line click into an empty area to update select this wall and make sure that the flip arrow is outside this flip this select flip 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 now hover the mouse cursor into this wall and press the tab key click to select you can select them one by one by holding the control key after selecting the first one and select the rest change the location line to to call face exterior and change the wall type to my generic 200 millimeter move the mouse cursor away from the property palette now change the location line back to call center line click the modify button select this wall make sure that the flip arrow is at the right orange and select this wall select this select this hold down the control key select this 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 zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel forward select this select this this go to the location line and change the location line to core face exterior and change the wall to my generic 200 millimeter move the mouse cursor away from the property palette now change the location line back to course center line click into the wrong area to place this wall zoom out select this section hit delete on your keyboard click ok select this section hit delete on your keyboard click ok now we need to connect some of this wall to form the actual foundation select this wall hit delete select this wall hit delete select this wall and hit delete click the trim extend single element select this edge and extend this wall select the trim extend to corner select this one these two will leave them as they are select the trim extend single element select the face of this wall and extend this wall click the modify button click the trim extend single element select this face and extend this wall click this face and extend this wall click the modify button now select this wall and hit delete on your keyboard select the trim extend to corner select this wall this wall click the modify button select the trim extend to corner select this wall and this wall rivet complain because the two wall are overlap click the modify button click into this area and use a window selection to select the bottom wall and hit delete on your keyboard select the trim extend single element select the edge of this wall and this wall click the modify button select this single element select the edge of this wall and this wall click the select the trim extend to corner select this wall this wall click the modify button select this wall and hit delete on your keyboard select the trim extend single element select this edge this wall select this and this select this and this click ok select this wall hit delete on your keyboard now select this wall you see the base constraint is bottom of footing if you select this wall it has a, a different constraint to foundation select this wall go to the modify panel and select the copy command click in in any area around this opening and move to the right type 600 millimeter press enter select the align command click the face of this wall and the face of this wall click the modify button now if you select this wall you see the base constraint is bottom of footing if you select this wall you see the base constraint is now zoom into this area click the zoom the trim extend single element click the face of this wall and extend this wall click the face of this wall and extend this wall click the split split element command click on this wall to split this wall click the modify button now select this wall 
change the base constraint to foundation and move the mouse cursor away from the property palette. Select the trim extend to corner. Select this wall and this wall. Select this and this wall. Click the modify button. Now select this wall. The base constraint of this wall is foundation. And select this wall. The base constraint of this wall is foundation. Select this wall. The base constraint of this wall is bottom of footing. Select this. The base constraint of this wall is bottom footing. Select this. The base constraint of this wall is bottom footing. Select this. The base constraint of this wall is foundation. Now click the split element command and split this wall. Select the trim extend to corner. Select this wall and this wall. Click the modify button. Select this wall and change the base constraint to the bottom of footing. And select the trim extend to corner. Click this face and extend this wall. Click the zoom to fit command. Now go to the default 3D view to see the results. Zoom in into this area. Select this wall and change the top constraint to ground floor. Click OK. Click the zoom extend command. Go to the quick access toolbar and click the save command. All right, we have just created the foundation. In the next tutorial, we're going to greet the footing for this project. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.